What's up, Barkey family? You guys know me. I love to make fake sweets on this channel, and today I'm going to be sharing a bunch of candy themed decor using mainly Dollar Tree products. Now, this is a collab being held together by Natalie at Design to the Nines, and this is for the Ronald McDonald house. So, all of the ornaments I'm making in this video are going to be shipped to Natalie to help decorate a tree inside of the Ronald McDonald house in Orlando. And there is a way that you guys can also send some ornaments to brighten up the family's day out in Orlando. And I'm going to be sharing a little bit more about that later on in the video but before I do I want you guys to get some dusters from Dollar Tree I'm going to share with you some cool fake sweets you can make using these you're going to want to paint your dusters we're using rust-oleum paint and candy pink if you want to use an acrylic paint you can it's just a little more time consuming you're going to need wood dowels for this project. You can get them at Dollar Tree, and if you want something thicker like I have, you can go to Hobby Lobby, get one larger one for 79 cents, and then cut it down into smaller pieces, which is what we did. And then I painted those pieces white. I had purchased some pink ribbon from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be wrapping that around the wooden dowel. I do use some hot glue to attach it to the dowel so that it doesn't move around. The next step is to glue your dowel to the back of the duster. So put a bunch of glue on the back of the duster, and then place what's going to be your cotton candy stick down. And then slowly roll the duster inward to create that cotton candy shape. Then use your ribbon to create a little bow to glue to the front of your stick. And that's it. You can always add some string on the top of this so that you can hang it off of a branch. But because this is so big and thick, you can just place it directly inside of your Christmas tree. These turned out absolutely adorable. You can make a bigger version of this. Dollar Tree carries glitter drape that you can use. The issue with that is there's a lot of glitter. Instead, I like to get the snow fluff from Walmart. It's really inexpensive. And all you have to do is take it apart and mold it into the shape of a cotton candy. If there's areas that keep kind of unraveling, just use a little bit of hot glue to keep it in place. I use my fingers to create a little hole at the bottom of the fluff, and then I glue a wooden dowel inside of that hole. Any area of fluff that's kind of dangling too much, I use my hot glue to attach it to the wooden dowel. Once that's done, I gave it over to my husband who spray painted it all. And the same thing I did to the bottom, I painted it white and then add my ribbon. And now I have these jumbo cotton candies that are perfect to go inside of a Christmas tree or just perfect for sweet themed decor. Now let me tell you about this project put together by Natalie from Design to the Nines. Natalie will be decorating a Christmas tree at the Ronald McDonald House in Orlando. The Ronald McDonald House provides a home away from home for families with children receiving treatment at hospitals and medical facilities in Orlando. Natalie will be decorating a Christmas tree with a sweet candy theme this Christmas at the Ronald McDonald House using the ornaments that I and others made in our videos. We are asking you guys to join as well. We ask that you make ornaments with a sweet candy theme and ship them to the P.O. box I will link down below. Natalie will have a special video up on her channel when the time comes using our ornaments to bring cheer to the family staying at the Ronald McDonald's house this upcoming holiday season. And it'd be so great if you can contribute. All the information will be linked down below. Thank you so much. We're going to be making some jumbo ice cream ornaments. From Dollar Tree I picked up these styrofoam cones. You're also going to need some styrofoam balls. I got these two pack of styrofoam balls from Dollar Tree that I cut in half and these are the perfect size to go over the cones. Once I had the styrofoam balls cut, I glue them to the cones. You gotta wait a few minutes for the glue to completely dry, otherwise the ball's gonna keep moving from the cone. Then you could paint your cones. I went with the pastel pink color and a mint green color. For the ice cream, I'm gonna be using spackle. Dollar Tree carries spackle and if you wanna go the route of using Dollar Tree spackle, you need one container per ice cream. If you plan on making a bunch of fake sweets, I recommend going to the hardware store and getting this dab patch and paint spackle. It's my favorite spackle to use. It's creamy. You don't have to mix water in with it to make it creamy unlike the Dollar Tree one. So what you'll do is you'll place your spackle inside of a piping bag with a piping tip. I'm using an open star tip, which is perfect to get that soft serve ice cream look. Dollar Tree does carry piping tips. They're not reusable. I like to get them elsewhere. You get them for like a dollar and they're reusable. 
I used a cardboard box to create some holes so that I could place the cones inside of these as I waited for the spackle to dry. Now the first ice cream that I created, I created inside of the box. I didn't realize that the box was slanted. So from the angle I was in, my perception of where the center of the ice cream was way off. What ended up happening as the spackle dried, it started to lean toward the back of the cone and it created a flatter look to the cone. It still turned out cute, but I had to adjust the way that it looked and I'll show you that in a second. So what I realized is it's best to do this out of the box. And if you want to get a taller look, you want to use one styrofoam ball, barely cut off the bottom of it and then glue that to the cone. For my ice cream sprinkles, I'm going to be using glass beads that I got in different colors from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be mixing these beads inside of a glass bowl. I didn't use all the colors. I didn't want to use absolutely every single one. So at first I was trying to scoop them out by hand, but I realized it's easiest to take a scissor and cut out the exact little square that you want and then do it that way versus trying to scoop out just what you need and then everything starts spilling out. After mixing up all the beads, I start to sprinkle them right on top of my ice cream. The ice creams that ended up flatting out on the top, I decided to place some fake cherries on top of. I thought this made them look super, super cute. And that's how I made these ice creams that are perfect for a sweet themed Christmas tree. You just place them again inside of the tree. They're big enough to hold. If you want to take some string and put it through the spackle, you can and then hang it off of your branches that way. For our next project, I'm going to be using craft foam. Now I got this on sale for around $7 at Michael's. You can find craft foam at Dollar Tree, but they're smaller squares and you only get 10 small pieces for $1.25. Now at Dollar Tree, I picked up these plain craft cylinder boxes. They carry boxes that you can use in the party section, but they're bigger. This is the smallest cylinder box I could find at Dollar Tree, so I went this route. I'm tracing the circumference of this box on top of the craft foam, as well as tracing the top of the box, which is technically the bottom of the box, on the foam. After I had those all traced out, I used my scissors to cut these pieces out. Now you need to use something like a string, to create an ornament out of this. I'm using this clear string that's for jewelry that I got at Hobby Lobby. I use this string all the time for things that aren't even jewelry DIYs just because it has so many great other uses beside jewelry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that circle piece, I kind of figure out where the center of this is and then I create two little holes kind of in within the center. That way I can feed my string through the holes. So I have the bottom or the ends of the string at the bottom of the circle and then I'm going to tie that into place and then glue the circle down on top of the box. That way this can hang like an ornament. Then glue down the rest of your craft foam and keep this in mind, you're always gonna have an ugly side and the ugly side you want to be toward the back of the tree or toward the back of a wall. It's the side where you're not really gonna look at. It's the area where the two ends of craft foam meet. We're making ornament cakes. Now I'm gonna share with you just a Dollar Tree way of doing it if you just want all Dollar Tree. You can get this pom-pom garland from Dollar Tree and use that as the icing for the cake. So I'm gonna be gluing it to the bottom of my cake and to the top. And once I have them glued down, I then glue the pom-pom pieces directly to the box because I don't want them hanging off. Then I'm gonna glue individual pom-poms on the top of my cake. If you can't find the small white pom-poms at Dollar Tree, you can use the garland. Just cut the pom-poms off and glue them on top of your cake. I glued some to the center of my cake as well. I only used the pink and the mint color foam that came in the pack from Michaels. I wanted to put some of the beads on top of this, so I placed the Mod Podge on top of the craft foam that is showing, and then I sprinkled on my beads. And that's how you make a cake with mainly Dollar Tree products. Like I said, Dollar Tree does carry craft foam. It's just very hard to find, and you get more bang for your buck when you go elsewhere. Now, I wanted to do one with spackle. I prefer to do it this way versus the pom-pom way. So I used a smaller piping tip and I did a design using my spackle. If you're using spackle, you wanna place your box on top of some piece of foam. So I'm using a foam plate. And the reason you're gonna do this is you need something for the bottom so that the spackle doesn't go on your work surface and doesn't stick to your work surface. 
Now, if you're gonna place spackle on the side of the craft foam, you need to place the tip against the craft foam, squeeze and keep squeezing, then let go as you get away from the craft foam. That's the best way to get it to adhere to the craft Now foam. what I'm going to be using as sprinkles on this cake are these fake sprinkles and I'll link the seller. I got them from down below. It's an Etsy shop. I place some Mod Podge again on any area where there's craft foam still showing and then I sprinkled my sprinkles down. And if any of the sprinkle went on top of the spackle, I made sure I used my finger to push it into the spackle. That way it would adhere nicely and not fall out. This is about 12 hours after I've made this cake. My spackle is for the most part dry. So what I'm doing is I'm taking my scissor and I'm cutting off any excess plate that I do not need. And after I have it cut, it's good to hang right off of the tree. So this is how it looks off of the tree. It's so adorable, you guys. These, this is my favorite ornament. You guys gotta let me know which one your favorite is, but these are my favorite. And then this is them on top of the tree. Absolutely adorable. For this next project, I'm using craft foam again, but this time around I went to Hobby Lobby and I picked up these thicker pink sheets for $1.49. I got two of them and then I got this white sheet for 99 cents and I picked up two of those and you can see the difference in the thickness between the two. I grab a pencil and draw a popsicle shape on top of the pink foam. I only do this once and then I cut that piece out. Once I have that piece cut out, I use this as my guideline for every other popsicle that I make. I just keep tracing that shape down on as much of the craft foam as I can and then I cut those pieces out. Like I said, I got two of the pink sheets and that's because for every popsicle I'm making, I'm gonna be using two pink sheets to make it thicker. Now I'm going to use the white foam to create the fudge, icing, whatever you want to call it, for the popsicle. So I take my pink piece, I trace it down onto the white piece, and then I just kind of create a design that I like and cut that out. On my other piece of white craft foam, I drew on a popsicle stick. I made sure it was long enough to go between two pieces of the pink foam, and then I cut those shapes out. It's time now to glue all of the craft foam together. So I start off by gluing my popsicle stick to one of the pink craft foam pieces. I then take that string that you saw me use earlier, I take a little piece and I glue that to the top of my popsicle. Once that's glued down, I put a bunch of glue on top of this piece to glue down the other craft foam pink piece. So now I have one big popsicle. And then I glue down my fudge. I wanted to do sprinkles on top of the white craft foam, so I did a thick layer of Mod Podge. I used Mod Podge because it dries clear. You can always use a regular school glue though, just because if you're using a white craft foam sheet like I am, it's not really gonna mess with the look of it. However, you wanna do a thick layer so that the beads have a really good base to adhere to. So these are actually inspired off of these ornaments that I got at Walmart. They're $3.48. It's a good price, but if you have to buy a bunch of them, that's where it gets pricey. So I decided to paint the popsicle stick a gold color to mimic what I had bought at Walmart. I made eight of these for just $5 in craft foam. Of course, I had the beads and the string. However, the beads and strings were used with other DIYs. So it's kind of hard to break down the exact cost. But let's just for the sake of this, pretend that I bought the beads and the string exclusively for this that was $13 for eight of these the next project I'm gonna share with you guys is my favorite after the little cakes from Dollar Tree I picked up these cylinder foam pieces and I am going to be cutting these down into three pieces. So for every one, I cut down into three pieces. This is by far the easiest DIY in this video. You're then going to paint the foam, and these are the colors I'm going with. Basically, we're making jumbo sprinkles for a Christmas tree. It's so easy to do, you just paint it and then you're good to go. You can put string on the back of this or you can just place them within your tree. Just kind of get the branches to go around these sprinkles so they don't fall out. So I went with pastel colors, really pretty colors, and then I just placed them inside of the tree. That, that's it. And I think it's absolutely adorable. This next project I shared back in February, but I think it's perfect for this type of theme. You need some round styrofoam pieces from Dollar Tree and wooden dowels. 
Now you want to put the wooden dowel on the back of the round. Initially I tried to get it to go through the round, but it wouldn't work. So instead, I just made a little spot for the dowel to go and then I glued it into place. Now I'm going to be using this yarn I got from Dollar Tree. It is called Chenille Yarn and it's kind of like a thicker yarn. Now what I'm doing is I'm going to twist the yarn around to get an even thicker piece and just get a pretty texture to it. I'm going to do this to get a three foot piece. And then I start to glue that down onto my round to make it look like a swirly lollipop. I didn't worry about the back of my lollipop too much just because you can't see it. Next up, I'm going to be using some little pom-poms that I got from Hobby Lobby, half off, they were just a dollar. I'm going to be gluing these down onto my lollipop using just some school glue. I didn't want to use hot glue because since I'm going to be placing each pom-pom on individually, I don't want to burn my fingers. So instead, I just went with some school glue. And just have fun with this. If you want to use something from Dollar Tree, they carry craft foam beads that would work well. You can go that route. I decided to paint the wooden dowel white. I didn't know which route I wanted to go with it. So if you decide to paint it, paint it beforehand if you know what color you want to go with. And then I used some pink ribbon from Dollar Tree and just glue that around the dowel. Now I'm tying little bows to where the styrofoam and the dowel meet. I had gotten these bows from Hobby Lobby. Um, you know what? You can make your own little white bows using Dollar Tree products. I just hate making little bows. So I found these and I was like, these work great for what I need them to. Another option for the lollipops is to get some paper, stationary paper, felt, some foam, and you can go ahead and cut out pieces to glue on top of your styrofoam. So I had gotten this paper you see right here from Hobby Lobby, half off, it was a dollar. You can use Dollar Tree paper, it's just not as pretty. And honestly, now with the price change, like it's cheaper to go to Hobby Lobby and get something. You'll cut up pieces to go on the front and back of your styrofoam and around the circumference of the circle. And you just glue those down and then just take your yarn. You do the same thing. If you want to add pom-poms, you can add pom-poms. It's completely up to you. And I went ahead and painted the wooden dowel white again and added the same pink ribbon and white bow. Here we have some cute fake lollipops you can use to decorate for Valentine's Day to give that sweet look. And if you still leave your Christmas tree up, you can use these inside of the Christmas tree. What's nice about them is they are a big size, so they take up a lot of space in your tree or in your decor. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, thanks to Natalie for putting this together. And if you guys would like to send some ornaments, the information will be down below for you guys. I think it's a wonderful thing to do and I'm so excited to see how these trees turn out with everybody's ornaments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.